As if it wasn't bad enough that they constantly cry wolf and fear monger about coming pandemics to the point that nobody knows what to take seriously anymore. Now they're actually trying to score political points on Trump during the rise of what could turn into a global pandemic. Instead of bringing people together, they're continuing to spew hatred and propaganda in the hopes that it will help their chances in 2020. Over at CNN, Don Lemon and his glasses have returned to manufacture a scandal over Vice President Mike Pence, who Trump just announced would head the response to the virus. Don Lemon seems to have a real issue with Mike Pence's religion and the fact that he prays over an issue before deciding on a response, which as far as I know, presidents have been doing from the beginning. In any other case, making an issue over someone's religion like this would be called bigoted and would be shouted down. But as we all know, those standards don't apply equally to all citizens. If he had not waited to pray on it before doing these exchanges, is that the person you want in charge of whether or, 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 of, of the coronavirus outbreak, someone who needs to prey on something instead of looking at the science? I mean, come on, let's be real about it. Let's just be honest about that. That's the person you want to put in charge of this? Oh, he took off his glasses, which means he's serious about science. I'm so sick of being lectured on science by people who proclaim that women have penises and men can have periods. The guy that Don Lemon supports ended our manned space program, so spare me on the science lectures. I want to remind you all that yesterday, the CDC warned Americans to prepare for severe disruptions to everyday life because of the coronavirus. When emergencies strike, you always see news stories of long lines of people and empty store shelves. There's no need to be a part of that chaos and the possibility of having to deal with FEMA food lines. Those that know what's coming are using today to prepare. You should make a plan too. Start by building an emergency food supply. And I trust and use my Patriot Supply. You can too. They're experts in emergency preparedness and have a guaranteed two-day delivery. Disasters won't wait, neither should you. This week, save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. My Patriot Food Supply Kits last up to 25 years in storage and include breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. Order a few today and receive a guaranteed two-day delivery discreetly to your door. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70. Those that know what's coming are preparing. Go to preparewithdronetech.com preparewithdronetech.com. If you didn't know, Lemon is talking about Pence's time as governor of Indiana, where his political opponents blamed him for an increase of HIV in intravenous drug users. Of course, Pence is not to blame for the bad decisions made by people who inject drugs into their bodies. Pence's political opposition in the media and in the Democrat Party blame him because he prayed over the decision over whether or not to institute needle exchange programs. These are government programs where drug users can and turn in their used needles and get new ones. First of all, is it really that strange to pray over a decision over whether or not to enable intravenous drug users? Especially when there's no clear science over the effectiveness of this practice. I mean, heroin users aren't exactly known for their good decision making. If you're high and you're shooting up drugs, are you really going to take the time to make a trip and get new needles? My point is, blaming Pence, his religion, or his prayers for this outbreak is absurd. Suggesting that Pence won't bring in experts, won't look at the data, and will instead just pray is not only completely baseless, it's also incredibly bigoted by their own standards. Uh, he didn't say, I want to look at the studies. Who were, who were he did not say, Scott, he didn't say, I want to look at the studies. He said he wanted to prey on it. Okay. Do you, I mean, do you, are you saying that are you saying that our elected officials shouldn't say that they're going to pray? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much a staple of our <laughs> of our political yeah. leadership in this country dating back to the founding. Okay. What evidence does Don Lemon have that Mike Pence isn't looking at the science? It's kind of hard to avoid science when you're dealing with a virus outbreak. Is it just because he said that he wants to pray on it? Because that's not at all unusual. He's a religious Christian. Of course he prays. All past Christian presidents have done the exact same thing. For that matter, it's been a whole hell of a lot crazier with some past presidents. Don't get me wrong, as many of you know, I'm not a religious person, and I wouldn't want somebody heading this up who was relying purely on prayer and religion to guide him, but I've seen zero evidence that's happening. And who is Don Lemon talking about when he says all these people are dying? There hasn't been a single death in the United States that I'm aware of. Is Lemon trying to blame Trump for deaths that occur in other countries? Unfortunately, Lemon isn't alone in trying to use this crisis for political gain. 
New York Times columnist Gail Collins, who is a regular pundit on all the establishment media, wrote an article with this headline, quote, let's call it Trump virus. If you're feeling awful, you know who to blame. What? Say what? A virus that was unleashed on the world by a communist dictatorship is somehow Trump's fault? Why am I not surprised at all to hear Democrat Party media echoing communist state propaganda in China? That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you want to support my mission, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just send a donation on PayPal. However you decide to support this channel, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.